What's up YouTube, back with another video. Um, real quick, this time I'm gonna actually show you guys how to take off your old pedals and install new pedals. Um, tool I'm gonna be using today is the Park Tool PW5. I'm gonna put this in the description. It's very easy to get pedals on and off. But I'm gonna show you something that's interesting on your new bikes that a lot of you guys are probably um, are, are dealing with or you might not even know it. So I'm gonna make this video quick and I'm gonna show you what I'm going to do to take my old pedals off and what I kind of want to show you guys is and I kind of already started the process to make it faster so I'm going to start with the left pedal first uh, I'm just going to use the tool usually when you're taking the pedals off you just press down on the pedal and then on the left side um, the left pedal uh, just go down in a downward motion and the pedal should come off pretty easily that way Okay, and again, I kind of already started the process before, so that's why it happens so fast. But let me show you this. This is a brand new bike, right? You can see there's absolutely hardly no grease on this pedal, which is unacceptable because you need to grease and lube any parts that connect the inside of something. All screws, bolts, pedals, all of that stuff should be lubed. Um, there's absolutely none on these pedals. I'm going to go ahead and do the right side which is very similar just put it in and just be careful not to scratch the actual pedal and then again you're going to go in that same downward motion as you hold the pedal still and again look at this pedal absolutely no grease at all so what i'm getting ready to put on are these race face um race face chester pedals which match the actual um, my uh, handlebar and now these came in the mail from worldwide cycling um, and so there's no grease on these as well but these came in the race face box so these didn't come already installed on a bike so I don't expect these to come in grease so what I'm gonna do I have right here call it white lightning crystal it's high performance clear grease and it says use on seat post suspension hubs headset threaded parts cables bottom brackets and pedals and so I've been using it on all my bikes so far um, I can't even remember where I got it from I'm gonna check to see if it's on Amazon but I'll find it and put it in a link in the, in the uh, description so what I'm gonna do is just put oh first thing you also want to make sure there is a difference in pedals there should be a left side and a right side, so make sure you're putting the right pedal on the right side. On the Chester pedals, you'll see on the top in a little corner, this has an L on it, so this is the left side. So I'm going to just put a little bit of grease on it. Actually, I'm going to put a lot, but then what I normally do is just take a piece of paper towel or tissue and then just kind of go over the whole... Threaded part and make sure it's a lot of grease on there. And it's definitely more than enough for this particular pedal. And so it's okay if you get a little bit more. I mean, you don't have to overdo it, but you definitely just want to make sure it's a good amount on the on the pedal. So just trying to even it out some here. that is done I'm gonna take my left pedal put it on the left side get my tool my park tool wrench hold the pedal in place and then I will start to tighten it in the opposite way that I was turning when I went to take it off Also be careful when putting these on as well, just because you try not to scratch the crank. Well, you're not trying to scratch any parts, but as you can see, it's already on. And I'll 
I'll come back to the right pedal. Hold on just for a second. All right, I am back on the right side. You can probably, I'm trying to see if the camera can pick it up. Right here, it's a little R. And that's for your right side. Actually, be careful when ordering these pedals. You know, on Amazon, most of these you can get for like 40 bucks. Most people who are selling them to third parties. Um, these are normally like $50 pedals, so you can get them like $10 cheaper on Amazon. But I ordered a pair on Amazon, and they actually sent me two right pedals. And there was nothing I can do with that. Um, I contacted the company, and they did refund me. And they told me I could just keep the two right pedals, so I'm just going to use those in case I damaged one of my right pedals. But there's nothing I can do with it as far as installing at that time. And so I say that just to be careful because, um, you know, some of these companies, um, sometimes you don't know where, what you're getting, you know, when you buy from some of these companies. So I'm going to go ahead and do the right side right quick. And again, I'm just going to do the opposite way that she did. And initially took them off. Get it on. It's pretty much pretty simple at that point in time. But uh, I'll just for a second you can see. It's all right to get grease on the wrench. I'm not worried about that. Just gonna turn it. Yeah, and that's pretty much it, guys. Um, that's pretty much it. So, pretty much how to install the pedals. I uh, just want to show you the after. In fact, I think they look pretty good on what I'm trying to accomplish with this particular bike. And so, yeah, very simple process. Um, only thing you need to make sure you're putting the right pedal on the right side. Make sure you grease it, lube it, and then make sure that um, that it's on tight. Again, if these come off, they're not on tight enough, you're in trouble. But other than that, guys, hope that helps. If you have any questions, put it in below, and I'll see you in the next video.